Hello. Today we're going to be doing an unboxing review of a Valley Armory Knights Templar uh, Longsword. The reason I'm doing that is in waiting almost seven months, but we'll get to that. Um, to get my sword from Valley Armory, I did a lot of uh, video searches and reading and noticed that there really wasn't any uh, unboxing reviews, so I thought I'd be the first to do it. So as you can see here, I have my box not altered in any way, not open. I just got it from UPS. I originally ordered this sword back in um, April, hoping that I would have it for an induction ceremony that I had with the Sovereign Military Order of the Temple of Jerusalem. Um, and then hoping I'd have it by Halloween, but that didn't end up happening. Um, it got delayed after talking to Sonny about another month or so. So I just got it. They shipped it out um, Monday. Um, what would that have been? That would have been, uh, well, today's December the 5th, so forth. Or like, we'll call it... Uh, it would have been December 2nd. Yeah. December 2nd. And we're just not getting it. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get this open here. It's in there pretty good. Just gonna give them a thumbs up on the tape job. <laughs> Very sturdy cardboard. Oh, I'm sorry, I dropped the phone there. Something. Mm. All right. Now, before we get any further here with this. I did want to let you know there's more in-depth reviews of this particular model of sword. Uh, Matthew Jensen, um, not that I'm affiliated with him in any way, I just watched his video on the same sword. Has a much more in-depth review of this sword if that's what you're looking for, so to just point you there. Um, here we go. It looks like the... Uh, shoulder belt is right here. I got everything done in ox blood myself. Um, I just kind of like that look. Uh, actually, I have to go and review my wallet. Okay, now. So that's bringing it back to me. So I did a, uh, man, I'm stuttering here. I can't I did a different color for the belt, so this is an ox blood. So the ox blood should be on the uh, the scabbard and the grips. I can't remember off the top of my head what this belt color was that I ordered. It might have been like chestnut or something like that. I can put it in the description later. I um, don't want to take up any more time on that. Um, I also ordered the hot peened version and with the grip spacer. So I'm assuming all that'll be here, but let's make sure. Um, there is an upcharge for that um, hot peening, it's like a hundred bucks. And the uh, spacer is roughly 60, if I remember correctly. Um, of course, you can see that on the Valley Armory website. Uh, here I see the, uh, yeah, that's the pommel of the sword here. So I'm going to set it down again. Get 
this out. All right, and here is our sword in ox blood. Yep, I really like that. Um, for whatever reason, on camera, it's coming out far more like a. It almost looks purple looking in the camera, and I can assure you that it is not purple. It's a very, very deep, dark red. Like, almost like an old blood kind of look. Um, see, I don't trust my camera colors, because they're, they're, they're not quite correct. It makes it look a lot different. Yeah, here's our treat. Looks good. I mean, I have to say the leather work, the leather work is amazing. This is probably the, not even probably the best leather work scabbard I've ever had on any sword in my collection. Um, it's very pretty. Um, and there's my dog coming to visit. <laughs> Flip that around. Here's the other side. We can kind of look at the seams here. Again, looks really, really good. I can't, I can't tell if that's stitched or glued or exactly how they did that. If we're being honest. Yeah, really impressed, really impressed by that. Right, here's our pommel. Grip spacer, of course. That looks like. And you can see it is hot peened. So no knot or anything of that nature there. Um... All right, I guess for the last step of this, we'll open it up here. Sorry here, I'm a one-man show and I've got the phone. So this is it. Blade looks really good in person. Kind of go up it here. a little bit kind of make a on the oh, I'd, I'd definitely say that's serviceably sharp uh, I, I wouldn't want it meeting my flesh <laughs> uh, kind of working it up here I mean you could definitely uh, if you had a gloved hand I wouldn't feel uncomfortable holding it there but it's starting to kind of get sharp I definitely wouldn't want to hold it down here. Um, yeah, it starts to get more sharp right about like there. I mean, this is, it's all ground, but I wouldn't call up here sharp. Um, four. Really? That looks pretty spot on, even on both sides. So, yeah. I mean, I paid, I paid a decent amount for this sword. It was something like seven hundred dollars. Um, but I love it. I really, I really love it. Uh, the sword's very light, very light. Um, I'm about six foot two. And when I got this package, I'm like, is there even a sword in here? Because it was so light. Um, so for those of you that kind of new into swords and don't know a whole lot if you're expecting something heavy it is not heavy um, but that's really the way it's supposed to be um the only other thing um quillens quillens look good and really spot on even i mean just this little 
tiny like imperfections here and there I mean it's it's handmade so I'm not expecting it to be perfect um, I know in Matthew's review of this particular model sword he talked about the gap there is a gap you can see it um, I know originally about a year or so ago I bought a Templar sword on Amazon which I ended up returning so uh, if you're thinking about buying a Templar sword on Amazon don't <laughs> the gap was far far worse than this um, I'd say I'd agree with Matthews probably like millimeter two tops gap space um, nothing that I'm worried about uh, nothing I think takes away from anything you can't even notice it unless you're looking down from the sword um, holding it it's very firm no wobble very tight in there so yeah I'd say overall I'm very very pleased with this I waited a while to get it so just having it in my hands finally I'm loving it love the finish <clears throat> love the leather color let's get all that together um, I'll have to assemble <coughs> the belt here um, I probably have to use pictures or something because to be honest I'm not entirely sure how that's gonna work so again not trying to make a long review so I want to do all that um, oh, I didn't notice this uh, I'm assuming this is the le leather holder if you will for the uh... well I don't know now that I look at it because you got these down here um, honestly not not quite sure but it's got the cross on here it looks nice but yeah that's my color matchup and for whatever reason the brown looks all of it looks lighter on camera so take that into consideration this this belt it looks light on camera I, it's it's darker for those of you that know your woods it's almost more like a darker walnut color than from what it's showing on camera there um yeah that's everything feel free to shoot me any questions or anything you might have but that is our unboxing review of the valiant armory knight's templar sword <laughs>